So in this video, I'm going to start introducing the derivative. And in this video sequence, I am really just going to focus on how do you get the derivative for this and that function. And I'm not really going to talk too much about applications. Now, up front, I'm going to talk a little bit about some minimal applications just to kind of motivate things. But uh, I'm really going to save the applications for the next video sequence because uh, it's it's a little too confusing to be you know in the middle of an application and learning this application and then also wondering how do you actually take the derivative of this function. So instead, I'd like to really focus on just the mechanics, the sort of most basic skill, which is how do you actually get the derivative of a function? And once that's really clear and solid, we'll move on to applications. So. In this video, I'll talk about the derivative at a point. I will talk about the derivative simpliciter, so to speak, or just the derivative. Uh, and uh, I've also got some intentions for a little bit of other conversation on this topic, but uh, it won't all fit in a single video. So I'll probably only get through uh, uh, the first two things. So anyway, the derivative at a point. Now, uh, the derivative at a point uh, is, if I want to give a generic sort of universal statement about what is that, it is this. And it hopefully makes a little bit of sense because this looks like the difference quotient that we talked about uh, a couple times now, where I take the change in the sort of vertical coordinate. At one time, I called it the x coordinate. Now I'd probably do better to call it the y coordinate. But in any case, it is, the numerator here represents the change in the vertical coordinate divided by the change in the horizontal coordinate. So we've already seen that that's basically the slope of a secant line. And if I take the limit as x goes to a, I've got the slope of the tangent line. And uh, this is you know, how you get a uh, position to relate to velocity, and it's how you get velocity to relate to acceleration, and so on. So that's the derivative at a point. Let's see us actually use it and compute it in a particular example. So let's take the function f of x is x squared and the point x is equal to 2. Whenever I say at 2, I mean x is equal to 2. So uh, I throw that information into the formula for the derivative. So I have f of x minus f of a divided by x minus a. And if I then actually say what I know about f of x, that it's x squared. And uh, if I compute uh, f of 2, that's 2 squared is 4. And then I put the rest of the information in here. Then it's easy to get this limit. Since we have studied limits so far, uh, it should be obvious how you get this limit. You uh, factor the numerator. You um, Cancel the factor of x minus 2. All that's left over is a factor of x plus 2. You evaluate that at 2 because now you've canceled the part that was making it uh, uh, discontinuous. And so now you can plug in. Um, and uh, so, so the value will be 4 at the end of the day. That's the uh, value of the derivative at the point. Now, as a minimal application, I'll talk about how this gets you the slope of the tangent line. And since you know the slope, to get the actual equation of the line, you just need one other piece of information, which is namely the um, as some point on the line. So uh, how do we get some point on the line? Well, let's uh, think about how. Uh, that's going to be kind of ugly. Let's, uh, well, whatever. Uh, don't worry about which direction these axes point in. That's meaningless here. But uh, the function x squared looks basically, oops, uh, undo that, looks basically like this. And we are talking about the point where x is equal to 2. So say that's over here. And we want to find the tangent line at that point. And that's kind of bad. Uh, the tangent line at that point. Well, what do we know about the tangent line? We now know the slope of the tangent line. And we want to know a point on the line so that we can get the equation of the line. Here's a point on the line. It's the same as the point on the graph where x is equal to 2. So 
in order to get the uh, the x and y coordinates of this point, uh, we we know already in advance that the x coordinate is two, and we would like to get the y coordinate. Well, since it's on the graph of the function, we just plug plug two into that function, right? We look at what is f of two and uh, 2 squared is 4, so the y-coordinate of this point is 4. And now we have enough to say what the equation of the line actually is. Um, so I use the point-slope formula over here. Ugh. Anyway, uh, I use the point-slope formula to uh, say my my y not value, a, the, the y-coordinate of a point on the line, is 4, my x naught value is 2, the slope we already found was 4, and therefore this is the equation of the line. And you could rearrange this if you want so that it's in y equals mx plus b form because a lot of uh, people prefer that format, but it doesn't really matter. The, the heart of the issue has been solved. This is the equation of the line. So that's the uh, derivative at a point and finding the tangent line from that information. This is a generic recipe for how you can always do that, right? Uh, how do you find the equation of the tangent line? You find the slope by finding the derivative at the point. You find a point on the line by evaluating the x value, it, plugging it into the original function, and then you uh, Put that information together in whatever way you like. You could do it by point slope, or there are other equations that will also do it. Um, but you basically use that information to find the equation of the line. And um, notice, by the way, this will be important later on, that the, res the, that the slope of a line is a number. It does not have x in it. It's not a function. It's not a line. The slope is a number, and it's only this part this little part of the equation of the line. Many, many students uh, think that the line is the slope for whatever reason. I mean, I guess as, if everybody's making this mistake, then it must be some kind of natural, you know, thing that that humans tend to misunderstand for whatever reason. But uh, uh, but the slope is just a part of the line formula. It's just that one number, and it does not have a variable in it. Well. Also, let's remark that the derivative at a point is also a number, and that's why this even makes sense, is uh, that uh, we, when we find the derivative at a point, we actually get a specific number, not a function or anything else like that. So when we say you know, that the uh, derivative at a point is the slope of the tangent line, you really got to say that full thing. You cannot say the derivative is the slope of the tangent line. That's wrong because the derivative is something else that we'll talk about in the next video.